Hey everyone, how's it going? Mark here. So back in 2005, Apple would launch the first ever Mac Mini as a more consumer-oriented entry model, and unknowingly to Mac users, it would be such a success that it would still continue in production over 17 years later in their current lineup. For the very first year, we would see three revisions featuring a PowerPC G4 CPU, but just a year later, we would see Apple transition away from IBM and Motorola to Intel and their bleeding-edge core processor technology, and this one right here made the cut. This is a 2006 Mac Mini Core 2 Duo, at least according to the label on the bottom. It's pretty dirty, a little yellowed, and I have no idea if it actually works. Someone was junking this computer and it didn't have the power adapter with it. But now that's all going to change because I finally have one right here. So we can see if its computer actually works and get it restored. <laughs> awesome. Now that we know that it actually turns on, let's get this thing torn down so we can clean it up, replace the thermal paste and get this thing restored. So first thing here, uh, let's try to pop this thing open. You need to, if you're going to do this yourself, you need to insert some type of jimmy or shim down in here to pop these. There's clips. And this doesn't feel like it's hitting any. There we go. So the first thing here, if you can see, is you've got to actually pop these two little tabs in to get the antenna off. So let's get that out of there. And then next is going to be this zip connector right here on the board. You can see that. Okay, so if you can see there, it's been about time to give this a nice good cleaning. So let's go through here. There's our chipset there, and you can see that was held with a thermal pad on the back. Uh, we'll pop this off, take a look at the CPU under there. 
uh, it's our Wi-Fi module. Potentially Bluetooth on here, not quite sure off the top of my head. And then two 512 megabyte sticks of memory. Uh, let me go take a look, see if I have any memory for this and we'll be right back. Yeah, I just found a few things. Uh, I've got my old 160 gig hard drive out of my uh, PlayStation 3 Slim. Just check the condition to make sure everything was good. And I only have 1,902 hours on this. And I took this out the console really recently and haven't used it much since. So that's pretty awesome. Um, and then I've also got two one gig sticks of memory here. Since this is a core duo, uh, but this will upgrade it from the 512 megabytes we have. And the cool thing is the uh, first Mac I ever personally owned, uh, we actually, I got to use them in school plenty. Uh, my middle school, we actually had uh, iBooks, which was really cool. And my uh, eighth grade year, we had the uh, brand new G4s, which was awesome. Everyone was really jealous of that. But, um, so the first one I got to own was a dumpster fire, but it was the very first Core Duo MacBook. And it just, at the time, I didn't have internet at home. So I didn't really have much optimized software and didn't have the time and ability to hunt for it usually. It was always overheating and throttling. I guess being a really early adopter and not really having internet being a broke teenager didn't help. Uh, anyways, let's get this uh, cooler taken off now. Okay, gone ahead and got those popped there. Didn't really have an easy way to show that on camera. And if you can see right here, the CPU was completely stuck to the heat sink. And also there is a thermal sensor attached. So let's see if I can get that to come out. All right. Whoa. And everything looks good. Good. That thing just went flying. But I don't see any damage. All I did was hit it with a plastic spudger, so let's get it done. Okay, everybody. Got some good old Arctic MX4 thermal paste here. This will do the trick nicely. Uh, I'm not going to show you exactly how much I use because everybody's probably going to yell at me. Pop this new memory in right here. These nice uh, 1 gig DDR2 sticks. And before I go ahead and do the hard drive, Let's go ahead and get this ready to test boot. And the moment of truth here. As we can see here, it did take the two gigs of RAM. Um, I'm a little confused though, as it says it's a Core 2 Duo. But when I read the serial number, it said it was a Core Duo. So let me figure this out. Hang on. Okay, so now that I've discovered that this is actually a 2007 model, um, I went ahead and I went and found these two memory modules here. They're both uh, two gigabyte sticks, so I can upgrade it to four. I'm um, still gonna just stick with the hard drive. An SSD would be nice and cool and all, but it really doesn't make much sense on this computer. It really serves no modern purpose. It's limited to four gigs of RAM and a Core 2 Duo. Hey everyone, just a quick little tidbit. Uh, when I was going to go put this back for the last time, went ahead and popped the heatsink off of our integrated graphics here so you guys can take a look.
everyone, it is time to get this thing cleaned up, nice and polished. No, this video has no sponsorship in any way, shape, or form. So let's move on. Well, we are finally here at the end now. Um, successfully got everything completed. Uh, Core 2 Duo with four gigabytes of RAM and it is on Mac OS Snow Leopard. I figured let's put it on what it would have come with from the factory. Uh, I've got this thing nicely restored now. Thanks for watching along. What's up? Thanks everybody that's watched along this far. It's been a lot of fun and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and ding that bell. I hope to be back with more content like this in the future. And until next time.